Eddie Howe. It's his 50th match in charge of Newcastle in the Premier League. And I mean, the impact cannot be understated. I'm looking at some of these stats here. The previous 49 games, points 50. Under Eddie Howe's 49, it's 85. A win percentage, 24% to 47%. And I know he's been financially backed, but how impressed have you been with wow, how he's turned things around? Amazing, especially last season when he came in, it looked like it could have been a bit doom and gloom. The January transfer window when he bought you, I think it was Trippy on it and, and Chris Wood and people like that. So good signings for him to keep him in the league. Uh, and I think this season he's obviously strengthened and gone strength to strength. But I think he was probably thinking slowly build the club over the next two or three years. I probably couldn't emphasize that how, how high they'd be up the league at this point. But listen, Kurt Toomey, he's a fantastic coach, good manager. And you can see he's sort of got the belief going within the team and the fans and they're all in it together. Because it's not about spending money. You can ask Graham Potter that right now. It's not about spending money will give you instant success. And again, I'll stress he has spent the cash. But with all due respect, he's come from Bournemouth where they weren't superstars. And players like Bruno Gamayas, they, they were wanted players. And he's getting a tune out of them week in, week out. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. Uh, it just goes to show you how important recruitment is. He bought players that were established in the Premier League with Kieran Trippier, Wood, Burn. They've been brilliant, they've been mainstays of this team and for a team to be in a relegation fight last season, to be competing for some silverware, they've got a cup final next week and in the Champions League positions is all credit to, to Eddie and his staff, they've done a fantastic job. Um, I came here earlier in the season when they beat Chelsea and it was just like the good times have arrived, the fans are on side, they've got the club that they love back, it means a lot to them, this football club. Uh, you know, as a North East, this is, this is what they live and die for, is for Newcastle. And with Mike Ashley as the owner, they were disillusioned with the football club. And Eddie's brought everyone back together again, and it, it's showing on the football pitch. This might sound silly, I don't know, but you've played in a League Cup final. It, it happens very early on in the season, let's be honest, yeah. for a Cup final. Will that be on the mind of some of the players today to avoid an injury? Be on, I know that the safe answer is, of course not, you treat each match uh, as it comes, but be honest, the human element of it must be there. I think some, some players are different. I'll be honest, some probably have got one eye on it. Some probably think the next game. But what you've got to realise is they've got to perform, and if they don't perform in games like this, Eddie's got selections to make. There's big players on the bench who all want to part. So today's a big game for him. They have to keep playing well. And like you say, it is a bit of a strange time in the season, the final. It would have been better at the end, but it is what it is. But like I'm sure Eddie is still assessing them players, and you know, no one's probably... There might be two or three nailed on to play, but the rest are probably fighting for you know a starting place and big performance today. They'll put themselves in contention. And you've got to remember, the pinnacle for a player in club football is Champions League football. And Newcastle has still got a chance of playing mm. in the Champions League. So all these players, yes, they would love to win silverware, but they want to be playing against the Real Madrid's at the Bernabeu and mm. Barcelona's at the Nou Camp. That is the, the absolute, absolute pinnacle, as I said. So I think, in a way... Them competing in for the Champions League um, uh, places, it kind of takes that complacency away where they're looking forward to the final. So uh, mm. I fully expect Newcastle to be on yeah. it today. And of course, to snap the three match winless streak. Yeah. They have won in the Cup, in the AFL Cup, but they haven't won in the league for three games now since what, mid January? Bit yeah. of a concern, do you feel, maybe? Yeah, it's a bit of a concern. Obviously, you always want consistency in your team, don't you? And, and wins, and, and but. I, I just think you just have to take the next game as it comes and you know a win is you know, once you get one win it's like a goal you know a striker once you get one goal you sort of go on a run don't you and, but you know playing here big from big crowd against a big team you know one, one decent result and you can go on that run again so I think that's what they'll be looking at get back on track and you know and get 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 winning some games yeah, yeah I, I, I echo it exactly what he says uh, I think we'll touch on it earlier but Bruno being injured has been massive massive for Newcastle uh, the sooner they get him back into the team, uh, the better it's going to be for everyone. Um, but some, most of them performances, which they could have been easier, have been wins. Mm. I, I watched the Bournemouth game, and that was probably the only time this season where I thought they lacked a bit of energy because mm. they're all about intensity, this team, high energy. They're a bit like a Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in their prime, in a way. It's yeah. just like we get after you all over the football pitch. And when I watched that Bournemouth game, I was thinking maybe... This is what Eddie was talking about, is that I need a squad. Mm. It's basically the same players playing week in, week out, and to play at that kind of intensity, um, it does have a, a big bearing on your 
and your physical well-being. But at St James's Park, we we'll talk about the obviously what's happened with Christian Atsu. I think that will galvanise the crowd. Mm. So Bobby Robson's night of birthday today. I think the crowd are going to be massive to give the, the players the energy they need today.